Kuba Randa Shakwa Hinda Kuva Handa Zekalanda Katumpa Yanda. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you. We worship you, Father, we worship you, Father. You are excellent, Daddy. You are excellent, Jehovah. You are excellent, Daddy. I say, I love you. You are excellent, Daddy. Jesus. You are excellent, Jehovah. You are excellent, Daddy. I say, you are a daddy, oh, You are a saline, Jehovah. You are a saline, daddy. I say, I love you. You are a saline, daddy. You are a saline, Jehovah. You are a saline, I say, I love you. Wherever you are, open your mouth and appreciate Jesus. We worship the Father. He called us a Bahanda Sheka. Let Kurondo Zaka Bahinda Bahinda Zoo Shakila Bayada. God is going to do something great in the life of somebody tonight. I mean, this morning. Wherever you are watching from, God will bless you. Please share this video, share this video, share this video, share this video, share this video. Share this video, share this video, share this video, share this video, share this video. The God who has sent me this morning will do something remarkable in your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Share this video, share this video, share this video, share this video. Share this video, share this video as we commence this program. The theme of this program this morning is I am not empty. I am not empty. Say that to yourself. Say that to yourself that I am not empty. Please like, share this video, share this video, share this video. Share this video. Le Kabaranda Zoo. God is going to do something massive in the life of somebody this morning. The God of my father who have sent me, the God of Apostle Johnson Suleiman. The God of Pastor Azemi Azena, that same God who has sent me this morning, will give you a testimony. Hallelujah. God bless everyone watching me right now. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. I will. Okay, please send your name, send where you are watching from, and let us recognize you as we proceed. Send your name, send where you are watching from, and let us recognize your presence. We worship you, Father. We worship you, Father. We worship you, Father. Me Kalamba Yandashu, Zakapa. I can see uh Ohari Ila. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Ohari. Ohari Ila. God bless you. God bless you. You shall not be empty in the name of Jesus. You shall not be empty. Send your name. Send where you are watching from and let's recognize your presence as you proceed. Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. I will take only verse 1. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and beckoned and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. I read it again. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare came and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. I am not empty. I will preach in this morning on what I told, I am not empty. Please, wherever you are, pay attention. If you have a pen or a paper, it will be advisable. You Take note of some things I will be saying via the Spirit of God this morning. God bless you. Vic victorious Enimola from Lokoja. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Victorious Enimola from Lokoja. I think is in Kogi State. God bless you in Jesus' name. I am not empty. I have discovered something 
that the destiny of a man can never be discovered until you know who you are. There is no discovery of destiny until you know your place. See, your placement in life is a proof of how God will announce you. Until you know where you belong to, you cannot be discovered anywhere. Until you know where God has placed you, until you know where God has, 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 has placed you to be on planet Earth, you cannot be discovered. The height of discovery is placement. The height of discovery is knowing your placement on Earth. I have discovered something. There are some persons who know where God has placed them, but they look down on themselves. One of the worst things that can ever happen to a man is to know where God has called you into, but you look down on yourself. May I say this this morning that anywhere you are, until you celebrate yourself, there is nobody who can celebrate you. The celebration of others are useless until you celebrate yourself first. Do not expect men to clap for you when you've not clapped for yourself. We live in a generation where people look down on themselves and men celebrate them. The celebration of men do not last until you know how value you have to yourself. One of the signs to know people who have looked down on themselves is that they've tried all means to acquire destiny or, or, or to acquire something in the future, but it's not, it's not showing forth. Wherever you are watching me this morning, may I say this to you, no matter the pressure you, you have put on something, keep on putting pressure until you get something. Keep on putting pressure until you get the pleasure of that thing. Don't look down on yourself. Don't look down on yourself. Don't look down on yourself. Now, as we on, I am not empty. What does it mean to be empty? 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 To be empty is to be voiceless. To be empty is to be void. To be empty is to be useless. Listen to me, listen to me. No matter how people get proud of, the, of themselves, may I say this to you, there are some persons you are still better than. You are still better than, you are still better than. In Micah chapter 7, in Micah chapter 7 verse 8, scripture says, Rejoice not over me, O my enemies, for if I fall, I shall rise again. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will bring me out. In Proverbs chapter 24, when you study verse 16, scripture said, For the just man falleth seven times and riseth up. So, one of the ways to know you are going somewhere is that when you fall, you take a step to rise. Never remain in your falling. Never remain in your falling. You can only be empty until you agree you fail. Never you agree. Listen to me, listen to me. What, see, see, see. That you fail doesn't mean you fail. That you fail doesn't mean you fail. I have seen some persons who have looked down on themselves. They've gotten discouraged because of a little mistake. Really, a little mistake, a little mistake. Listen to me. Sometimes your mistake is what prompts you to be serious with your destiny. Your mistake is what prompts you to be serious with your future. Never look down on yourself because you've made a mistake. You are not empty. You are not. Several persons, I have discovered the young generation, teenagers, youth. Some of them, some of them looks down on themselves because a little mistake. A little mistake. Never look down on yourself. 
there is one thing I know about myself. No matter the mistake I make, I know I am going somewhere. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Nothing makes a man empty like when he has placed this value on himself. Nothing makes a man empty like when he sees himself while... Like when she see herself as somebody that has no use. Who told you you are not useful? Who told you you are not useful? May I say this to you? As long as you were created by God, you were given birth to by a woman, you are useful. You are useful. You are useful. Never you look down on yourself. Never you look down on yourself. I will give us some point. I mean, as a sign to know that you are not empty. I will give us some point this morning. I will give us some point. The place we read from in Genesis chapter 4, when you study verse 1, scripture said, And Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and beckoned and said, I have gotten the man from the Lord. One of the signs to know that you are not empty is that you carry knowledge. You carry knowledge. You carry knowledge. You carry knowledge. No man of knowledge, no woman of knowledge is empty. The proof that you are free, the proof that you carry something is that there are mysteries you are supposed to do. Never you listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. What is knowledge? What is knowledge? What is knowledge? A great man said, Nothing gives a man edge like knowledge. Nothing gives a man edge like knowledge. What is knowledge? Knowledge is the ability, divine ability to know all things. Divine ability to know all things. Not to know some things, to know all things. The proof that you carry knowledge is that all miseries are revealed to you. No miseries is hidden from a man who carry knowledge. No miseries. Wherever you are watching me from, may I say this to you, that go and seek for knowledge so that men will seek for you. So that men will seek for you. Seek for knowledge so that men will seek for you. You don't want to be empty, seek for knowledge. Knowledge in diverse dimensions of life. I get angry at some person. You're supposed to be serious with your life, getting information, getting details, but you are wasting it on something else. Listen to me. Wherever you you are watching me, may I say this to you, that the world do not celebrate men of ignorance. There is something the world is looking for before they accept you. Yes. There is something you must carry. People do <laughs> some, a person should say, ah, why are people just following uh, all these uh, chants like this every time? They mention their name. It is because they carry something. They carry something. Knowledge. You don't want to be empty. Go for knowledge. And Adam knew in his wife as she conceived. So it is knowledge that determines your conception. You cannot conceive. You cannot be pregnant of destiny until you carry knowledge. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived. So she did not conceive before she knew Eve. She did not conceive before she had knowledge about him. She had knowledge about him before she conceived. So your knowledge determines your conception. Your knowledge determines your conception. You are not empty. Go for knowledge. Go for knowledge. Knowledge in diverse means of life. Go for knowledge. And he said, and Adam knew if his wife, and she conceived and bear came. Listen to me. The word bear means to give birth. I mean, the word bear means to bring forth. You have been pregnant of a destiny. That pregnancy cannot be delivered 
when you carry knowledge. When you carry knowledge, you want to be a voice in this life. Listen to me, listen to me. <laughs> I get happy when I see platform that gives me knowledge. And Adam knew it, and she conceived. So your knowledge in life is what produces your conception of destiny. Do not say you <laughs> see this. Do not say you are empty until you've checked your weak point. Another aspect I'll say is this. Uh, some persons look down on themselves because, as I said before, a little mistake. Your mistake should, should put you in check towards your tomorrow. It should not bring you down. But may I say this to us? It is men of ignorance who celebrate their mistakes. Your mistakes is to teach you lesson, not to live with you. When you see, when you are living with your mistake, when you make a mistake and you are still having a thought around it, it means you are far from knowledge. A man of knowledge who knows where he's going to learn lesson from his mistake. Don't listen to me. Don't. For the righteous man, for let the seventh dance, Proverbs 24 16, and shall rise up again. So the proof that you are great is that you are felt several times. What pronounces failure is to remain in your folly. No, if you fall, stand up. But may I say this to you? You cannot stand. You cannot be standing without knowledge. Knowledge is a pillar. Proverbs 20, verse 18. Every purpose is established by counsel and with good advice. Make work. Advice will not come until you know something. Nobody advises. Listen, listen to me. No ignorance advises a man. You must know something before you can advise somebody. You are not empty. You are not empty. You are not. You are not. You are not empty. At all. Why do you look down on yourself? Go to church. I pray for you. Wherever you are watching me from, the hunger to seek knowledge will come upon you. In the name of Jesus. Knowledge. I want to talk some things on this aspect of knowledge. 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 When you carry knowledge, you are as a giant. When you carry knowledge, you are a man with unpredictable wisdom. Nobody can predict a man with real knowledge. I do not see where some persons are being predicted through that attacks come because no knowledge. When you know something, you become a missile of battle in the heart of me. Go for knowledge. Read books. One of the major way to get knowledge. Listen to me. If you don't want to be empty, I have said it. First thing you must know, you must go for knowledge. One of the way to go knowledge, I mean to get knowledge, is to read books. Read books. And there is one thing I've discovered in life. One thing is to read books. And another thing is to know the type of books you are reading. Because the books you read, the, that means what hooks in your life. The books you read, determine the hooks that comes into your life. When you read good books, when you read and define books, then expect and define hooks in your life. H-O-O-K. 
Don't look down on yourself. Books. Read books. Read books. Do not say you want to seek for knowledge and you are reading books against God's word. It's an error. It will not enter. It will not enter. Imagine, imagine someone who said they want to be a, a preacher of the gospel. Lord, I want to preach. I want to preach. The crowd, people will come talk to me. And you are reading books of worldly musicians. What you read, see, it is what you read that determines the type of people that is around you. Your association is connected to what you read. Your association is connected to what you read. Books, read books. Read books. The eye of knowledge is consistent practice. The height of knowledge is consistent practice. Do see, you cannot grow in knowledge until you understand the place of practicing things with time. A long time, every time, every time, every time. Not that I practice today, I rest. No, it won't, it won't, it won't work like that. Consistent practice is what boosts up a mass knowledge. Consistent practice. What are you doing? Are you doing it with consistency? Do it with consistency. Do it with consistency. If you are studying books based on your area, okay, as 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 someone who is reading this science, read that book consistently. Read it well. Read it well. Do not listen to me. Listen to me. One of the secrets of great men is that they know the books that fit them. Do not read books that you know that is not in line with your destiny. No. Read books you know that is a definition of where you are going to. Read books that is a definition of where you are going to. Because where you are going to is far better than where you are coming from. Read books. Read books. Another way to get knowledge is to know this, the friends you keep. Nothing brings a man end close as his friend. Your friend, determines your hand. Your friend determines your hand. You want to end well, it's your friend. You want to end wrongly, it's your friend. Your friend determines your hand. There are some friends you should not keep. One of the reasons why some persons who were pregnant of destiny before now, they are empty, it is because of the friends they keep. The friends they keep. Any friend that is not on the same vehicle going to your destiny should not enter that vehicle with you. Drop him down. Drop him down. Your friend should be the person on the same vehicle, on the same transport line with you. In destiny. Or to destiny. Bring him down. Several persons has ended wrongly because of wrong friends. You don't want to be empty. Check your friends. Check your friends. Because your friends did. That means your head. Look at Job. When you study Job 1, Job 2, Job 3, upward. When Job was starting, he had wrong friends. See, the first bad friend of Job, uh, uh, 
It was his wife. But Job realized that for me to end where I must pay death in here, I must separate myself from this wrong friend. Imagine in Job 2 verse 9, a scripture said, and Satan came. Another scripture said, the wife of Job came and said, cause God and die. Imagine, the best companion of Job said to Job, cause God and die. Listen to me. None of your friends is free. There are some of your friends who are saying to you directly or indirectly, cause God and die. What does that mean? Any phrase that does not advise you about God is trying to, to separate you from God. He said unto Job, cause God and die. And Job replied, Hayana Mashanda. And Job replied, he said, if you, if you study verse 10, Job 2, verse 10, downward, and he said, you are saying, let me cause God and die. When we had enough, you did not say such a thing. Now we are in affliction. You are saying to me, let's cause God and die. But Job ended where? Scripture said, and I think in Job 42, verse 17, Job 42, verse 17, a scripture said, and Job live a, a full and a no, and Job lived a full old age and it was pleasing to God. In that same Job uh, 42, he said, and God blessed the letter hand. Why? It was a, if Job was with the wife bef before he died, he wouldn't have ended well. He wouldn't have ended well. So your friend, your companion, determines your hand. Who is your friend? You don't want to be empty? Check your friends. An empty friend must produce empty associates. Must produce empty associates. Who is your friend? Your friend is the prophecy of your future. Your friend is the prophecy of your future. The prophecy of your future. Who is your friend? Who is your friend? Who is your friend? Several persons, several persons have ended wrongly because they told them, stay away from this friend. And they said, no. They told them, some of you, some parents have won their children. My daughter, my son. Don't walk with this boy. Don't walk with this girl. But no, mama, huh, if you understand this guy, if you're that, what are you saying? And at the end, when the issue bust out, you begin to regret. Most times, may I say this, that any regret from friends might affect your spirit forever. When you regret because because of a mistake you got from a friend, it might weaken your spirit for a long time. Who is your friend? A saying said, show me your friend and I will tell you who you are. You do not know yourself until you know your friend. You don't know who you are until you know your friend. Show me your friend and I will tell you who you are. Show me your friend, and what? And I will tell you who you are. You carry something. Listen to me. Hayana Mashanda Kasika Handa. Ah, see, there are some friends who are angels of the devil. There are some of your friends who the devil have sent to you to destroy your destiny. There are some persons who was pregnant of destiny before. They became empty because a wicked friend came. One of the worst things that can ever happen to somebody is that you are working with the wrong person and you are still blind. <laughs> to be working with the wrong person and you are still blind. 
In fact, walking with the wrong person is blindness alone. Apart from that, on your whole spiritual set, still blind. Still blind. Still blind. Walk with people. It was because Job could realize that this friend I have, if I if I stay with her for a long time, I might hand wrongly. You don't want to fail in life. Who is your friend? Who is your friend? You do not know yourself until you know your friend. Stop saying, eh, anyway, go, I know myself. Not in the app one. Brother, <laughs> you don't know yourself until you know your friend. For show me your friend and I will tell you who you are. Your friend is the prophecy of yourself. Your friend is the prophecy of yourself. I just have a few minutes now. I will say on this aspect, your friend also should be listening. Listen to me. In Proverbs chapter 18, in Proverbs chapter 18, when you study verse 24, <laughs> scripture said, it said, for whosoever who say is, is a friend must what show himself friendly. For there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Number one, friends, your cheek. Listen to me. If you must not be empty, you must have friends who are who are stickers. You must have a friend who is a sticker, who stick to you, stick to your instruction, stick to your advice. For there's a friend that stick it. S T I C K E T H. That stick it. That stick it closer than a brother. That stick it. That stick it. That stick it. You want to end where? Have a friend who can stick to the purpose of God for your life. Have a friend who can stick where? For there's a friend that stick it. Closer than what? A brother. Who is a brother? A brother can be your best mate from your family. But a friend is someone that goes on the same direction, that sticks to your purpose. You serve God, you serve God. You work good, you work good. Not a friend that you are serving God, is serving Satan. Such a friend will empty you. I prophesy you will not be empty. You will never be empty. You will never be empty. As you type amen, I pray for you, you will not be empty. In the name of Jesus. I stick it. Your friend. Your friend. Your friend. Your friend. Your friend. The last aspect I wish I wish I say on this morning before I round up as we pray. Listen to me. <laughs> if you must not be empty, always celebrate yourself. Listen to me. I said it before as we started. <laughs> the celebration of the congregation is useless until you celebrate yourself also. It is your self-celebration that brings the celebration from the audience. Men may look down on you. Listen to me. Listen to me. Anybody who is looking down on you today is not better than you. It's not. Anybody. Some person have been discouraged. Why? I was doing something before. Somebody in that look. No! That person is not better than you. You are better than that person. Better. Celebrate yourself. Even, see, even if you are making mistakes, celebrate yourself. 
Because one day your mistake will turn into a miracle. When you are making mistakes, celebrate yourself. When that mistake produces a miracle, everybody celebrates you. Forget all this one, all this one. people are, uh, uh, I just want to get on the, a person, he did a clap for me. Least clap for yourself first. Clap for yourself first. That every, see, not everybody will love you. It's in fact, in fact, it's a law. And it started from this scripture. If everybody is celebrating you, it means you're under a curse. If everybody is clapping for you, you are under a what? A curse. So those people who are not celebrating you and, and they are trying to discourage you, you don't mind them. Celebrate yourself because you are going somewhere. Nothing makes a man empty of destiny like when you depend on this celebration of people. Nothing makes a man empty like when you depend on the applaud of men. Depend on your applaud. Listen to me. Until you applaud yourself, heaven would applaud you. Don't wait for men to clap for you. There are some persons, even if you are doing good, they will never clap for you. It's, see, it's a spirit on them. It's a spirit on them. Even if you are doing good, though, Chateau, as a minister, you are preaching for money tonight. All of them, you fall down like this. Those people are to discourage you. You yourself. You don't discourage yourself. As Peter said in First Samuel chapter 30, David encouraged himself in the Lord. If David was waiting for me to encourage him, he would have not succeeded. He encouraged himself in the Lord. No matter what you are doing, don't expect everybody to clap for you. Luke chapter 6, verse 26. Luke 6, 26. Scripture said, Jesus was speaking, he said, Woe unto you when men shall talk good of you. Woe. Luke 6, 26. Luke 6, 26. Woe unto you. The word woe means cause. He said, cause be unto you. When men we talk good of you. When all men we talk. So when everybody is clapping for you, you are under a curse. Not everybody. Listen to me, listen to me. We live in a world where people get depressed because nobody said thank you to them. No. If everybody is clapping for you, then you get ready. You might not end well. You might. You might. So anything you are doing, one of the signs to know that you are not empty, celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself. I have, <laughs> I have, I have preached. I have been privileged by mercy, discovered by grace, to be in some places that I will preach to, I will talk, 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 talk. <laughs> and at the end, people, people are laughing. Are laughing at me. I remember then in secondary school, I was leading an assembly program. Every morning we come together, before classes begin, I will be talking. People, teachers, also will be laughing. Yeah, but I will live there, and I will say to myself, the best is to come. The best is yet to come. You cannot see your best until you forget the applause of me. Listen to me. When every see when everybody is happy with you, then you are on your way to darkness. Are you aware? Yes, darkness. <laughs> I should explain this. Nothing brings darkness like the multitude of, of people. Like now. When people are too much in a place, 
the place will not be conducive. It will not be conducive. When people are too much in the place, he said that it's, it's smelling, eating, or whatsoever. Every so that simply means when everybody is clapping for you, then your destiny is not conducive. Celebrate yourself, even if nobody celebrates you. And please, may I say this to us? Anybody who celebrates you at all, appreciate that person. Appreciate them that celebrates you at all. Those that celebrate you at all, appreciate them. Appreciate them. Appreciate them. Appreciate them. Don't wait. Listen to me. See this. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. See this. You might be saying, how will I be able to bear the pain? You can bear it if you know who you are. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. Yeah, a royal priesthood. A holy nation. A peculiar people sent forth. One of the reasons why some persons are is because they do not know who they are. Know who you are. You can never be empty. Anybody who is depending on the applause of men to survive, do not know who, he, who or she is. When you know who you are, whether people discourage you, whether they clap for you, whether you and Adam knew he as you conceive. Are you aware that Adam who went through through a, some a problems? Adam, yes. <laughs> Adam, in fact, his wife was one of his problems during the time of creation. Genesis 1 and verse 2. Genesis 1, Genesis 2. The wife of Adam was a problem to Adam. But Adam did not place focus on that problem. Listen to me, one of the heights, one of the ways to know that you carry something is that you are focused on your calling. You are not empty until you disregard your calling. You are not empty until you disregard your calling. There are some people today who, 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 they are, they are pregnant of destiny. They are pregnant of destiny. They are pregnant of destiny. But they cannot give birth to that destiny because they've left their calling. Nothing makes a man productive in life like following and walking in life with his own calling. You are not empty until you disregard your calling. Do not disregard your calling. Do not disregard your calling. Focus on your calling. Focus on your calling. I will end this message here this morning. Wherever you are, open your mouth and say, Lord, help me. Help me to get knowledge that will make me useful in my generation. Open your mouth and pray to God. Anywhere you are, pray this prayer. Lord, may I get the knowledge that we make me full impact. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray to God. Open your mouth and pray to God. Lika bahanda shakati. Le korondo zoka bahanda bahanda shakati. Open your mouth and pray to God. Lord, I am not empty. I refuse to be 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 empty. Kalabaya dabasha. Laki rondo zoka hinda. Laki rondo zoka hinda. Laki rondo zoka hinda. Pilondo zoka hinda. Leko rondo zaha katiba. Leko rondo zaka bahinda kata. Hope you are say, Lord, give me the hunger, the appetite for knowledge that will make me to be loaded. 
with destiny. Lord, as I go for knowledge, I will not be empty. Open your mouth and pray to God. Pray to God, pray to God, pray to God. Pray to God, pray to your father, pray to your father, pray to your father. Laka randa si kahanda si. Liko shakwa bayanda zo. Liko shakwa bayanda zo. Liko shaka bayanda zo. Like Rondo. Begin to pray. Say, Lord, give me the hunger to get knowledge so that I will not be empty in my generation. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray this prayer. Pray this prayer. Pray this prayer. Lord, give me the knowledge that will make me know that in my generation. Give me the knowledge that will make my destiny to be loaded in me. Begin to pray. Say, Lord, I refuse to be empty. Lord, as you give me the appetite for knowledge, I refuse to be empty. Open your mouth and pray. La kabaranda shakatiya. Liko londoso. Wherever you are, pray this prayer a few seconds. Lord, I refuse to be empty. The grace to go for knowledge that will make me to be loaded. That grace come upon me. Open your mouth and pray. Wherever you are watching from, where distance is never a barrier, God is going to answer your prayer. He is the, I know the God that I serve. I know the God that I serve. The God that answers prayers. Pray, Lord, the grace to go for knowledge that will make me to be loaded with destiny. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. The grace to go for knowledge that will make me to be loaded. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Anywhere you lead me, I will go. Because you are the way, truth, and the life. Jesus. Wherever you are, join me as we sing this song. As we round up. You never leave me, nor forsake me. Except you build the house, oh. the builders build the way. Me, I go follow you, they go. Anywhere you lead me, I will go. Chila Bayanda Basha. Jesus. My life is for your glory. Your glory. We worship you, Father. We worship you, ancient of it. We worship you, ancient of it. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you. Anybody that is sick, I command you to receive your healing. I command you receive your healing. Anybody that is sick, wherever you are, I came in the name of the God of my fathers who have sent me. Listen to me. You have heard this message. Go and work on it. No matter the battles of life you go through, say to yourself, I am not empty. Even if men talk you down, talk yourself up. When men speak you down, speak yourself up. For the glory of the latter half shall be greater than the former. Work on this message. Always say to yourself, I am not empty. Go for knowledge. And as you study books, as you work with good friends, always say to yourself, as I go for knowledge, as I have the right friends, I am not empty. You are not empty in the name of Jesus. God bless you. I want to appreciate everyone who created time to be in this live broadcast. God will honor you. As you honor grace, God will honor you. In the name of Jesus. I am not here alone. I don't do any live broadcast like this without divine instruction. Listen to me. I don't do any any program until God leads me. And when God leads me, it's for a purpose. It's for a purpose. It's for a purpose. I want to appreciate everybody. Please join me celebrate my fathers in the Lord, Apostle, Professor. John C. Sulema, the man that God brought into my life, and my life has changed and is still changing forever. I never regretted the day I knew him, I submitted to him, I met him. Celebrate my father for me wherever you are, Apostle Professor John C. Sulema.
celebrate my father in the Lord, God's servant, my pastor, the man who has brought any whatsoever I am today is by the bringings of this man. Celebrate my father, pastor, Azeme Azena. Daddy, anywhere you are, I say I love you. Thank you for what God has used you to do in my life. I love you, Daddy. Pastor Azemi Azemi. Celebrate my mother and the Lord, Reverend Dr. Lizzie John C. Sulema. Wherever you are, celebrate grace with me. Celebrate grace with me. The grace you don't celebrate cannot work for you. Nothing sponsors acceleration like celebration. What is acceleration? Speed, 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 motion, motion, motion. So, nothing puts a man in the place of motion like celebration. Celebrate my mother, my mentor. The woman that God has sent into my life, my destiny for the purpose. Celebrate my mother. I have no regret since the day I submitted to her right from my mother's womb. I have no regrets since the day I met her, since the day I submitted to her, or since the day I knew her. She has been a blessing to me and everyone around me and she's always been a blessing. Hallelujah. And she, and she will continue to be a blessing to me. Celebrate my mother, Reverend Dr. Lizzie Joseph Suleiman. Celebrate my mother and the Lord, Kaya Mamasha. This is my mother I respect so much. A woman with strength grace. <laughs> presently, I was, I'm almost surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised presently. I, it is difficult to see a woman who wakes up at night on her facing midnight prayer for everybody. Ah. That is why when you are speaking against great people, check yourself. If you cannot do what they are doing, then shut up. This is a woman every night Midnight prayer. I watch her, I follow her up on social media, on Facebook. Midnight prayer. This prayer is not 40 minutes old, 50 minutes old. She pray. Pray. Celebrate my mother and the Lord, the grace of upon my mother, Pastor, Mrs. Precious, Azeme Azena. Mommy, I want to say I love you. Love you for life. God bless you, Mommy. I have never regretted since the day you started pastoring me. Thank you, mommy. Anywhere I am, I am, I am always proud of you. Thank you, mommy. Hallelujah. God bless you. I want to appreciate brother. It's a white frost. God bless you for hooking up to this broadcast. Anyone who has connected to this program, I pray for you. Listen to me. Even after now, please share this video. Share this program after now. Share this program. Let me pray for those who commented, who liked, who shared. Listen to me. Your heart desire is granted in the name of Jesus. There's somebody looking for admission. There's somebody looking for, for admission. I, I, just, I just saw it now. I don't know. Is this person watching me or, or you left? There's somebody looking for, for admission. This has been for three years now. Three years, but God is going to give you that admission this year in the name of Jesus. Everyone who connected to this program by sharing, by liking, by commenting, whatever is your desire, I prophesy it will come to pass. By the will, by the purpose, by the will of God, it will come to pass. God's will will be done in your life. You will not walk outside God's purpose. You will fulfill destiny in the name of Jesus. Oh, Joe Samuel, God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Oh, Joe Samuel is my classmate. I, I celebrate you, sir. I celebrate you, sir. Brother Favor Roya, Okwama from OFM, Abia State. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Hey, look at my big sister. God bless you, man. Mommy, maybe Kola Wale Francis. I celebrate you, man. God bless you, man. God bless you, man. God bless you. Thanks, everyone, for watching this program. 
the next encounter will be shared on this same platform when it is time. The next encounter live on Facebook here yeah, will be shared on this same platform. Like my, my Facebook page at Rema Osakwe Me. Follow me on my profile, Rema Osakwe Me. Follow me on Instagram at www.instagram.com slash Rema Osakwe Me. Also on Twitter, Rema Osakwe Me. Also, follow me on YouTube. By God's grace, I am now on YouTube. Every encounter, every, everything God will be doing a true me, a true us, you, you, you will surely see it there on YouTube. Subscribe at Remasakwe Me. Subscribe, share, comment. If you have any prayer points you want God to answer, please send this on this as, as a message. Inbox it on this profile. I mean, this Facebook platform. As you are here, you are not far from me. We are friends. So anything you want to discuss, send it as a message on this Facebook platform. So follow me on, on YouTube. Subscribe. Then if you need any of the videos, any of the programs, messages, or you want to browse them, you want to watch them, check on YouTube at Rema Osakwe Me. www.youtube.youtube.com slash Rema Osakwe Me. Share. I mean, view first, then you subscribe. Then as you subscribe, then share every video you see there or the one you are led to share. Then like. Then every, 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 everything that you desire as you obey by the will, the purpose of God, it will be granted unto you in the name of Jesus. I will be happy to see you next time on this same platform when it is passed to us. We will also pass it on this same platform. Our next program on this same platform will be passed to us on this Facebook platform so that you know, we know for now. We don't know if there's any program like this on this same Facebook platform. But if there is, we will pass it in form of a publicity, a design, a graphic design on this same platform. God bless you. I am happy to see you. Wherever you are, I say thank you. God bless you. I love you all in Jesus' name. Amen.